This video is a, a concise version and, and perhaps a clarification of a previous video I made which was entitled Real Numbers and Countability. This hopefully is, is a little shorter. Now, uh, the assumption I'm making is that real numbers can be expressed as decimals and every decimal in the interval 0 to 1 is a fraction. For example, 0.347 is 347 over 1,000. And it's rational if it's finite and irrational if infinite by, by definition here. Now, what I have done here is plot on a graph every fraction where this is the denominator and this is the numerator. So, for example, uh, this point here is two-fifths. Now, uh, every point on this graph is on or below the line y equal x. And I can systematically count every point on the graph. Uh, for example, I go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. Or, it's really not necessary, I can count just the fractions as follows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, etc. Now, the, the, every fraction, rational or irrational, including decimal, is a point on the graph and therefore can be counted. So binary, hexagonal, octagonal, etc. fractions are all on the graph and therefore can all be counted, therefore the rational, the, uh, the, the, the fraction, the decimals, the real numbers can be counted. Now, uh, I note that the axes are infinite, which I claim that even the limits are on the graph because the axes extend to infinity in both sides. However, if you claim that, if one claims that uh, there is a, a limit for every irrational fraction, that doesn't change anything because then the, the, the most that it does is double the number of points on the graph and every point on the graph is countable. So doubling at most would leave it still countable. So in conclusion, the real numbers are countable. Thank you.